Hey, hey, everyone. It is uh, JNA with the Let's Get Low podcast, and we are together. 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 People did enjoy those two last podcasts. Oh, did they? I think so. Oh, okay. I think it's fun to watch us together. Are you like Neil, where you get like one like on Facebook and you're like, um, Neil will be like, the internet is loving this. Oh, wow. And there's like, I look and there's like three likes. <laughs> He was trying to show me this barbecue that he wanted to buy. Oh, he's like reviews are phenomenal, and I was like, show me the reviews. <laughs> it's like literally one review, and it's like one five star. Oh my goodness! Oh Neil, he needs me. He needs me to filter the information. Yeah, yeah, him. exactly. He's like a child or an old person. I'm yeah. gonna go child. Go child. I'm going child. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hello. How are we all doing today? We didn't even decide what we were going to talk about. Yes, we're talking go. about accountability. Okay, okay. And what I was saying this morning. Okay, oof, that yeah, it's a big How topic. How do you guys feel about the stain of my shirt? Jose was so disappointed in me. She I left arrived. my home with a white shirt, but then I drank coffee the whole time. But she way. says, but we're not sure. It seems there a is bit, a lot going on. She arrived and it was no. already dry. There's also makeup. I think that's makeup, maybe. I don't know. I don't know either. There's cat hair. I didn't think about that part of having a cat. Oh. Wow. You're like, okay. Oh, yeah. I think you didn't think of anything when you saw her looking cat. <laughs> How's he going? How's he doing? Oh, he's all right. Is he roaming outside? He's roaming outside. Some of the neighbors are not a big fan of that. I was going to say, is he, is it, are we still like, we're like rationing his time outside, but also I feel like that neighbors may be being a little dramatic. Oh. Like, I don't think he's spending all his time. Like, they were just upset that he was laying on their porch. Wow. But I think he's spending other time, other places, and he's just doing his thing. So we're just, we're just going for, going with going it. Going with it. It's okay. I yeah. support you. He did spend the night at, last night outside. Oh. 11 o'clock at night. This is me. Crazy, full on crazy cat lady status. Door open. Milo. No. Yes. Come here, baby. Come did he come? Here. No. He was fine. And did he arrive? I went to bed. I know he was there in the morning waiting for me with his little face. At the door? At the door. Oh my God. He doesn't know how, he doesn't know to like scratch at the door. Mm. So like, I don't always know that he's waiting. Man, not, it's 11 PM. Like if he wanted to usually go past he curfew. Comes home, usually he comes home 10, 10 30. He's like, he sits like out in our front door. There's like that flower bed. He yeah. sits on it right there and waits for us to open the door between like 10 and 10 30. And he comes in like every last night. Last night he was just, maybe he was like. Having a good he was time. off his routine last night, oh, okay. and we let him out a little bit later than we normally let him out. Oh, maybe that's because Alfie's friends came at the door nine o'clock at night. Can Alfie come out to play? Oh, it's nine p.m. Nine p.m. I said yes. Yes, of course. Yeah. So he went out till nine thirty. I mean, so he's then, turning twelve. He's turning twelve, and they're like in the neighborhood being cute. All yeah, together. I'll take it. So I'm like, okay. yes, and also like, are they talking about girls? Yes. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Well. A few of them have girlfriends. Okay. Are they kissing? No kissing yet. Okay. I, uh, I kissed my first boy when I was 11. Yeah. No, they, I don't even know if they've like held hands or like touched yet. Okay. But actually I was helping Alfie clean up his Lego yesterday and that's when we do our best talking. Okay. And I said like, is there talk of kissing? And he was like, no. And I said, do you know that like, there's like different ways of kissing? He's like, yeah, there's two ways. Oh my gosh. Tell me everything. <laughs> He's like, one is with your mouth and one is with your tongue. Okay. I'm like, yeah, kind of. <laughs> and do you have any questions? He's like, no. Okay. No questions. No me. questions for you, mom. But he really wants a girlfriend. Oh. Did I tell you that he, him and his friends went to the, they went to the spring fair and there was like a fortune teller. Oh no, he didn't tell me what the okay, fortune teller. Okay. So she's not a real fortune teller. She's like a, a mom. A mom. Okay. And she's like, oh my God, I've been meaning to tell you this. And Alfie came in with his buds and he asked her, am I going to be single forever? Oh my God. <laughs> No, no, but I think he's like one of the only ones of his buds. There's a few that haven't had a girlfriend at all. And he's okay. one of them. Okay. And he's ready for a girlfriend. He says, oh my God. I know there was a little girl that he tried he a few still times. Likes he her. still likes her. And she lives in our neighborhood and they spend a lot of time together, okay. like in a big group. And like he okay. hangs out with her brother and he still quite likes her. Oh. I think when he talks about her, he gets all like flustered. Oh. And <laughs> Oh, I like that. Okay. It's a fun age to like watch. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like it. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. He's going grade seven. Grade seven. Grade seven. Like high school in two years. Oh my God. Stop. 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 Right stop. Now. So that's, that's the Alfie Milo update. Okay. Okay. Um, your in-laws are arriving soon. 
as from we speak, in, from England, driving to the airport to pick up my in-laws. They'll be here for two months. Not in her home. They have their own home. They have their own home. Thank God. Imagine. Well, they used to come for weeks on end. Yeah. My vagina was still on fire. open when they came after Alfie was Bleeding born. to death. Pretty much. Yeah. And I was like, and you want some privacy when you're yeah. like, your boobs are out all the time. Especially your in-laws, no matter who they are. A hundred percent. Yeah. Exactly. Even my parents. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You just want your house to yourself. You just want your vagina to yourself. Yeah. Big yeah. time. You Big need to time. air it out. Yeah. Okay. Um, But no, they bought the house mm. across the street from our old house. Okay. So. Okay. All is good there. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's update them on our thoughts. Okay. Um, Account- so accountability is like a big word that like, we almost like ex nade from our vocabulary. Okay. What's ex nade? Like, mm. like I didn't like the word accountability, but it was, but it was the people's perspective of exactly. what accountability was. Exactly. That accountability I didn't like. is definitely a thing. Oh, a real thing. Uh, but I think that the definition that the diet industry or the perspective of what it looked like was very damaging. So if you think of like Weight Watchers, you know, the accountability was the weekly weigh in yeah. in front of someone yeah. and that behavior was very damaging. And I was very honest in the stories that I did about accountability um, that I'm like, I was a part of that. Like yeah. that, that was just the way we had all kind of been conditioned to believe that weight loss, that weight loss was, that was being accountable. Um, and then until you really wake up, once you've like woken up to all the diet mentality and damage of those little things, it's like, you can't unsee it anymore. Um, but it does take a while for some to wake up. Like they just don't listen. Like I, I had this one girl that was like, I haven't been to your weight loss in five years or whatever. I was like, yeah. And she, I was like, oh, well, that's okay. Like, you know, that happens. And I just like randomly saw her. Um, she wanted to share that with me. Okay. And I'm like, that's fine. Like, how are you? Like, yeah. whatever. We don't have to talk about yeah. you not being with yeah. your weight loss. And uh, she's like, I really needed someone. I heard that you don't have the scale anymore. And I really need someone to weigh me to lose weight. And I said, I want you to think about what you just said. Like you need someone else to be involved in your own journey with yourself and with like something that's so like um, personal Personal. and, and, and the fact that you think you need that. And I was like, I really hope you can challenge your own thoughts and realize how damaging that was. And also that thought has led you nowhere in the past five years. So the fact that we're still here, the fact that we're still here where you are and you're feeling not comfortable, she opened up, I'm not, I don't feel comfortable. It's because of that thought. It's because of that belief system that you have. That you need. That you need someone, someone else. Yeah. And, you know, I'm going back to times where like I was getting on the scale in front of other people and then yeah. like you have like a good week, but it doesn't show on the scale. And then you feel like you need to explain it to the yeah. person yeah. and like that, or, or I would skip uh, I wouldn't go to Weight Watchers. Also, didn't you have to pay more or something? If, if you, you weighed more, yeah. If you went over your goal. Or or if you like, sk- anyways, I would, if I knew oh, yeah. I was going to gain. You still had to pay. Also, how many of you guys get on the scale at your own house before you go to the place to get weighed? Everyone. Yeah. Like yeah. pretty much everyone. Well, you have to get on the scale at your house to weigh your clothes to figure out which what weighs less. I mean, how many nibbles have you seen because people were just not wearing bras? To- so many. Me too. Um, so, okay. So that was one conversation, one part of the conversation, but yeah. here's what happened while I'm doing my stories and I'm like, oh my gosh, like the, f- we live in a world where we will be different. We will have different behaviors and perform differently, differently. If someone's watching That's the world we live in. This is now human, normal human behavior that we are different. We do different things when people are watching. And I'm like, isn't that interesting that we, and I know, I know this, I know that we work on authenticity. We work on being ourselves. We work on not being um, not embarrassed, but like being more confident about who we are. That's something that we should all be working on you guys as a society. Um, and that's something that I know a lot of you appreciate from Alicia and I, that like we're ourselves and we're authentic and we're vulnerable and we're honest. Um, and I'm like that, I think that's the piece that we, we are like, why do you need someone to watch you to do something, go and do what you want now? If you're like, 
if no one watches me, I'm going to eat like shit and I'm going to eat everything. And I'm going to, I'm not going to show up. I'm not going to go for my walk again. How interesting that that's what you want to do when no one's watching, do nothing and eat everything and just not care about your health. You only care about your health. If someone's watching, you only care if your house is clean. If someone's looking, you only care if you're, you're only nice with your kids. If someone's watching, no, there are things that are who you are whether someone's watching or not, if you're kind, you're kind. If you're this, you're this, right? You're not just like faking it. And we live in a world where so social media, think of social media, how we behave differently on social media when we know someone's watching, how we don't like, you're not your true self sometimes on social media. And that's a big thing. People love that we show up like our true selves on social media, right? How many people would never show up without makeup? Yeah. Would never show up with their hair all like, yeah. you know, yeah. like, oh my God. But I'm like, that's you. Yeah. <laughs> that's who you really are. You sometimes don't yeah. have makeup and you your hair looks like shit sometimes. Yeah. And you smell sometimes. Yeah. Know what and I your mean? house like, is a mess. Yeah, sometimes. exactly. And it's yeah. like, so we tend to act differently when we know someone's watching. Yeah. Um, and that's just very interesting data. Um, data. And here's the, like, here's a little bit more uh, of a different angle to kind of look at it is like. I think probably you guys are listening and you're like, you're right. Like, that's the way that I used to think. And that's not your fault. That's basically how oh God, every yes. single Even diet to be this way. Literally. That's how, Family. you know, the biggest Weight Watchers must be one of the biggest internationally most profitable, oh, uh, yes. weight loss program. Right. Yeah. And their program was built on the structure that you would get on a scale in front of a human being once a week and yeah. you would weigh yourself. And that's how it worked. Right. And it worked when you were on that program. And so the whole conversation of like behaving differently when no one's watching, I think that's important to kind of acknowledge and recognize, right? But then also understand that if you think behavior change comes from someone else watching you, that's a problem. Yeah. Like I'm going to acknowledge right now that there are behaviors that I want to change that I wouldn't do in front of another person, but it's on me to yeah. figure out how to change that behavior. Right. Right. I mean, I obviously look for external support for the coaches, a yes, community yes, yes, yes. guidance. I have tools like a template and a journal and all of those things, but it's but on me. me. Yeah. So accountability. To use those things. Exactly. <laughs> accountability is actually a personality trait. Mm. It is when you are accepting responsibility for your actions regardless of the circumstances. Mm. So accountability is accepting. I, you know what? I chose to not go for my walk today mm -hmm. instead of saying I didn't have time. Mm -hmm. It's just accepting what you choose regardless of your circumstances. And it is a personality trait. Mm. And just like anything, it's a skill and we can sharpen that skill, mm -hmm. but it's not, here's the big piece, guys. You are not going to change your life because someone else is watching. No, it won't be long term, and that's the that's the piece, right? I'm like, okay, so someone's watching you uh, for ten weeks, and you're getting results, and now what? Like, what what's next? Like, this isn't forever and ever. So it needs to become that you're watching you, that you're doing the things for your standards and your values, and you're you're doing this for you. I always love when you say that. Said you say like, I have standards. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, so like, you know, as much as you can eat whatever you want, whenever you want, great. Okay. According to my standards exactly. on how I want to feel and treat my body. And do you go against your standards sometimes? Yes. Like, but they're also like a part of my standards is that I am allowed to live the experience of overeating without judgment or guilt. And then it's like, oh, it made me feel that way. Now, today, I don't want that experience again. Like, it's really just all about me talking to me about me. Um, and so some of the progressions that I see within myself is like, I'm like, Oh my God, remember when, if I didn't get on a, that's when I see the damage of, of what we've done as a society and, and weight watchers and all of that. And the weekly weigh-ins is like, okay, well I used to like, let's say we go on vacation, like on a, uh, like on a Tuesday and I would get weight on the Saturday, but then from Saturday to Tuesday before I left was just an eating fest. Cause I oh. wasn't getting on a scale again. Wow. Right. Yeah. And so I don't, do that anymore no that's a behavioral change that I changed because I'm not getting on a scale for anyone and I've like really grown a relationship with the daily the like my life and not just I'm doing weight loss and yeah. it's like this and it needs to be that and now and I'm on vacation weight. now I'm on vacation They're separate lives there's like so much to unpack when it yeah. comes to like the damage like it's like way deeper than just 
how we behave on Friday night when we get weight on Saturday. Yeah. There's a lot of um, weirdly connected behaviors to that weekly weigh in and belief system. Like it's, it's very deep. It's very complex though. What the damage and you only see it as it happens. You're like, why am I behaving this way? So, and then time gives you perspective, yeah. like you said. So the hard part about accountability and doing things for you is that you have to realize and, and not when no one's watching the person that you are and the way you behave when no one's watching mm. is what you want to do is you is. So I don't have anyone. No one needs to watch me or call me for me to go to spin or go for a walk. No one has, has to watch me for me to eat salad or to eat fried clams. Like it's, it's not, it's just what I want and I know why I want it. And I'm very aware of like everything I choose is for me. And, and I'm the one dealing with the results or the consequences. Like, um, so it's that piece can be hard because most, it seems most of you do not even take the time to think every day about you and what you did and what you wanted and what you accomplished, what you did at the end of the day is what you wanted to do. So if you sat and ate like shit all day and you didn't move your body, that's what you wanted to do. So how am I, me showing up be like, don't do that. Okay. It's just going to be like, okay, right, right, right. But after a while, if that's not you saying to you, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to live this way anymore. Um, it's just going to go back to that. You have, you have to change, not me changing you, not an external person changing your behaviors because of pressure or motivation. And that's why I don't connect to pressure, motivation, discipline. I'm like, I, and, and some people will be like, well, you must be just lucky that naturally that's what you want to do. And I'm like, don't make it about me. How interesting that that's not what you want to do. That's not what you want to do. You don't want to take care of your health and feel good in your skin and have standards for yourself that make you feel this way. How interesting. How about you think about what you want and the fact that you want to not feel, you not want to not want that. That's very interesting to me. It's like when people get upset that I'm like, you can eat what you want. And they're like, if I, if I tell myself I can eat what I want, I would just eat everything. And, and I'm like, how interesting. If you tell me that I can eat what I want, I'm not going to go and eat so much that I feel sick. I don't want that. So very interesting that that's what you want, huh? I really genuinely believe too that when people start actually chasing what they actually want and getting rid of all of the noise, mm. that that's when your life will start to change and that's where yeah. things will start to change. Because even if, as you guys are listening to this, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, oh, well, they want the things, but, and it seems so hard for you because it's maybe not what you want. Like, remember that weight loss doesn't look a certain way. It's not a certain food. It's not moving your body. Like no. weight loss is simply consuming less energy than your body requires. So stop painting it with the picture of like, diet and how yeah. you've lost weight in the past. Like clean the slate, right? Stop no literally more. clean the slate and just be like, okay. It's like my underwear drawer. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, Jeff, I think I need more underwear. He's like, I think you need to burn the drawer and restart over. <laughs> and I was like, you're not wrong. <laughs> Sometimes that's just what you need to do. You need to burn the drawer. Okay. Why is it so annoying to buy underwear? Is it because there's, there's something about it? it. Is it because there's something it? maybe, or I think it's because of the comf like it kind of is shaped as you after the uh, years go by right. and then you have to buy a new one. All of a sudden it's tight. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like yours. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then this feels like mine. It's like shaped as my oh. lower body. Um, it's just this very, uh, I guess what this can prompt is inner, uh, dialogue, inner reflection, self-awareness. And that is what change is. It is self-awareness. That's how you grow. That's how you evolve as a person is that by having those conversations with yourself about what you're doing and what you're choosing and then change will come with those conversations and and awareness it's not going to come because all of a sudden you have this random moment you feel like shit in your skin and then you call a i'm gonna do a 10 week shred okay cool uh it's way deeper than that that after the 10 week shred we have not been able to work on why you were doing the things that you were doing before why you were choosing that and just creating de developing the skill of daily awareness, daily intention. Um, that is what's going to bring you that long-term success that where anything's thrown at you, 
you still use the same methods. You still have the same abilities. So it doesn't matter really what happens. You're still using those same, I have daily intentions. I still have standards for myself. Like, it's not like, oh, it's not cookie cutter perfect. So I'll just restart later, you know? I, okay, let's leave them okay. with this. Do some reflecting. Yeah. And ask yourself. Yeah. Do I have the personality trait of accountability or am I still seeking external accountability? Like, do I see myself still looking for that? Yeah. I think just start there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And everything is perspective. Like everything is perspective. So like your perspective of what it would take for you to lose weight, your perspective of what it takes for you to be accountable, your perspective what of you should, should weigh, you, yeah. what you should eat. Um, say, oof, all plays, perspective. All perspective. So like it plays a massive role on your results. And if you're thinking, okay, what's missing for me is this. Mm -hmm. What's missing is that uh, you need to challenge your perspective and your belief system on so many things. So it's a little bit more that than anything else. And the, the Q and a that I just did on my social, it just like the types of questions, like, how do I stop feeling guilty about this? How, why do I do this? Why do I behave this way? And I'm like, a behavior stems from a perspective. Um, and so don't even attack the behavior. Start thinking about like, why did I end up doing that? There's something about a prior thought, a prior belief maybe, or even my perspective that made me think this or believe this. And that is how you make change. So whatever you accomplish at the end of the day is what you wanted. You guys do not Deep. think, yeah. Do not think that what's lacking is someone else telling yeah. you to do something different. Yeah. Like you need to be doing that to yourself. What did or did not get accomplished today is, what, is not the consequence of your circumstance. No, it is what you chose. It it's is what you wanted. What you prioritize. It's what you wanted. Yeah. And, and so think about why do I want it that that's so interesting to me. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why is that I what you want? That? Yeah. Why do you want to eat everything? If I tell you to eat what you want, why, why are you going to binging? That's very interesting. You know what I mean? So, but also feeling like you eat what you want is a perspective. Mm. It's a feeling. It yeah. doesn't have a look. No. I feel like I eat what I want same. every single day. Same. Every single day. Same. Does that mean that it looks the same as what you think that would mean? No, because it's a perspective, right? All right. Okay. okay Let's wow. end with that. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye.